Hey guys, it's Russell the Diesel Man back again with another issue that I wanted to bring to you guys' attention. I think other people have been having this issue, and the issue is problem importing MPEG-2 files into your video editing software. Now, if you're like me and use a gamer capture card, I happen to use the Avermedia C985 capture card, um, you may be using the Elgato, you may be using a capture program such as the Action Media, Camtasia, or any one of a ton of different programs. But if you take your video that's output in an MPEG-2 and you try to import it in Sony Vegas, Sony Movie Studio um, 12, 13, or probably a lot of other video editing programs you may run into a problem and I want to show you the problem it's much easier to show you the issue than it is to actually sit there and explain it so I'm going to open my video editing software here and I'm going to just add some media I've already got a test file here as you see this is a MPEG-2 so I'm just going to bring that in the program now look at the problem I put my video down here and as you see there's absolutely no audio now at first glance you may think well the audio never got <clears throat> never got uh, recorded but let me show you if I just click on the file it's going to open up with Windows Media Player let me just advance a little bit you see it's fine the audio is fine it's there the video is fine there's absolutely no problem with it now the problem is um, well, there's a lot of different problems, but this is a known issue with an MPEG-2 and some of the uh, video software editing programs out there. So I want to show you what it looks like. That There may be a clue. So if I come here and I'm just going to delete this. And if I come in here to add the media, I want you to look. You see right here it says streams one and there's no it Sony's not seeing the audio file now if I click on an MP MPEG 4 you see it's got two streams and it's got the audio right here another MPEG 4 any of these M MPEG 2 videos well they just don't seem to have the audio stream even though that anyone I click on um, does except when I pull it in the program you see there's no audio file there so what do you do? Well, if you do some any type of Google search or YouTube search, et cetera, et cetera, on the Internet, you're going to find that there are a ton of people with a ton of different solutions to this. Now, as a preemptive strike, what you need to do is whatever you're using, whether you're using a capture card, whether you're using a capture program, you need to make sure that it's putting out a file um, the, like an MPEG-4. All right, MPEG-4 is very stable. An MPEG-2 is slightly smaller than an MPEG-4, but not enough to where it's it's going to cause you any space issues. I mean, it just it may be 10% smaller. MPEG-4s are very stable, uh, but you need to watch out because my Avermedia gamer card defaulted to put out an MPEG-2, and I had recorded a ton of different gameplay, uh, and only to find out later when I go to edit them in my software program that well there's no audio so if you're listening to this video make sure that it's putting out an MPEG-4 or an AVI or something like that that's a little more stable than MPEG-2 now how do you fix it alright it's very very simple just go to Google and you want to go to sound SourceForge and we're going to be getting a program called Handbrake. Handbrake is a free program it's an open source video converter it's very very good and this is what the program looks like right here and it's very easy to use um, we're just gonna go click our source we're gonna open the file I'm gonna navigate to my test file and I want to show you that this is this is the MPEG-2 and we're gonna open it it's gonna load the program alright it scanned it loaded the program and we need to tell it where we want the file to end up 
after it's done converting it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it go right back in the same folder where it was at. We're just going to call this test again. We'll say test one. We're going to save it. So what it's going to do is it's going to take that file and it's going to change it to the name test one MPEG four. And all we do is we click start. Now before I do that, there are a lot of different tabs. This is very customizable if you want to change um, a lot of different parameters in your video. I'm not changing anything. All I want it to do is change it from an MPEG-2 to an MPEG-4 without losing any type of video quality. And we just hit start. And you see down here, it's going to give us our percentage done. Now, I had, like I said before, I had recorded a lot of uh, videos probably about 10 or 12 before I found out that this was an issue um, you may have other software video editing programs I don't know if maybe uh, it's more stable if you're using a Mac but in any event um, this is an option that's free it's this is relatively fast it, it's probably gonna take a couple minutes to do and once I do that, when I go back into my video editing program um, and I put the software in there, or I put the, the video file, it's going to have the audio file. Because right now, unless I'm just clicking on it to play it, you know, it's, it's pretty much useless. So I know this, if you get on the internet, you can see that this is a problem. It is a known issue. Um, and there are a lot of different software programs that you can use to convert video to different formats. But if you use if you use something that's tried and true, Handbrake's been around for quite a while. Um, and I like the fact that the price is right; it's free. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video out here so you don't have to uh, hear me babble on. And when this is done, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when the video is actually done. Okay, Handbrake has now finished up our conversion. See, it says Q, it has finished, so we'll close the program. We're going to go back to our test. Now, as you see, the MPEG-2 video was almost a gig, about eight tenths of a gigabyte, and we're just a little over a gig. And just to show you, this is an MPEG-4. Okay, it plays and looks the exact same as an MPEG-2. Um, but the magic comes when, let's bring the media in. I'm going to take our MPEG-4. Now, see the file? It says two streams. Okay, we've got our audio. What we originally had, it only has one stream, and it doesn't see the audio. So let's bring that in. And here's our MPEG-4, and you see we've got... Our um, audio, just like it's supposed to be, Hello, and just to show you, better get a move on, buddy. okay. And once again, I'm going to show you the original MPEG-2. There is absolutely no audio uh, coming into the program. So I hope that this helps you guys. Please make sure whatever you're using to record, either your screen. Like I'm doing, I'm using my capture card to actually record this, but it's going out in an M MPEG-4. That's what I have it to default to. So whatever you use, make sure to stay away from MPEG-2 if at all possible. Um, but all is not lost if you do find that you've got video um, where either the audio doesn't show up or the video doesn't show up when you import it. Go out, get Handbrake from SourceForge download that and convert that to uh, convert it to an MPEG-4 and I think you will have uh, plenty of success. So if you guys have any comments, if you have any other tricks that you'd like others to know about or myself to know about, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you've got any other video ideas that you would like for me to, uh, to show, the reason I did this video is because I was having a lot of trouble finding out exactly how to fix this problem. So hopefully um, this was clear enough where everybody can understand how to fix it. It's an easy fix. And if you got people that are having the same problem, just forward this video to them. Until next time, 
This is Russell the Diesel Man, and I will talk to you later.